a veteran, but veteran, I'm like, whatever. yeah, you broke a federal law by rushing up into a building and you got, and the dude came around the corner with the rifle and blew you away. I'm sorry. I just have no sympathy in my heart for people like no, that. What's, what's, what's that the, like you broke into a federal building. What did you think was going to happen? Yeah. It's, it's, you know, you keep hearing like, and it's, it brings out like what people have been saying is bringing out like a hypocrisy because it, it's, um, for one, like when Black Lives Matter was there in the, in the summer, they were heavily guarded and they were with with men in military fatigues prior to even can being considered a riot. And I don't know if you listen to any interviews from the mayor of D.C., but they they were not nearly even equipped or prepared or even had a thought. Let's put it that way. A thought that riot gear would have been needed for somebody that's been egging these people on for four years in case something like this happened. They've been making threats for, for a long time. Yeah. Like, I think when, and the kind of, and it is a racial thing because somebody hung up a noose. I'm like, so it was a bunch of white people there. Y'all are over here. Like, I, I'm, I'm just confused. Y'all over here sitting here saying, we're going to make America great again. You know, Biden cheated. What does that got to do with black people? You hanging up a fucking noose to where everybody can see it. So well, I just think us... it's funny that that these that these people are still like using the same fucking technology for the past two hundred years. Like, dog, like that's really your biggest intimidation factor. Like, you you guys haven't had any a rope innovation in your terrorism or uh, well, they innovated. They innovated it. They're called the district attorneys and. Um, Officials and cops who go around and kill people and don't uh, prosecute dirty cops and all that. But yeah, the whole oh, yeah, am I supposed to be scared of some rope dog? I got a jump rope at my house. Like you're not scaring <laughs> nobody with that because when we see what we saw, I saw. I don't know if y'all saw it was a black lady. Um, some people, some Trumpers or whoever, rolled up on her. She broke some lady's face, but she busted her shit wide open, hit her with a three piece. Oh, yeah. Yeah, eat her with a three. With a, actually, it was a four piece combo. I was like, "Damn, she rock 'em sock 'em roboted her face." Like it would have been better if it was a twisted T. I'm just saying. I mean, she didn't need twisted T. She was fueled by it. Apparently, she with the I don't know. She had the strength of like a Power Ranger or some shit. Like the new updated <laughs> one. Like she hit her in the face four times. Blood everywhere. She Mike Tyson her face, and then the whole crowd jumped in, and they were jumping on her. And then the cops came in. It was a whole thing. It's like. Most of those people are just cowards because one on one they're not going to do anything to you unless they think you're a soft target. But together, like the old dumbass dude with the Davy Crockett um, fur on his head and the uh, the Asgardian face paint, like they people like that, they think that shit is cool. They think it's okay. Like they're bar they're barbarian. They're the descendants of barbarians that we never really dealt with. That Europe never really dealt with. They sent those people away and they're here and they just kept breeding. And then they realized, oh, we're actually significant. And we think we're like, we blame immigrants, black people, uh, fucking goldfish for all our problems. It's everybody else's fault except us. So we're, so the things that we'll hold you to account for, like kneeling during the anthem or peacefully protesting, uh, by the way, in L.A., they had like 50 Trumpers come out and those people fighting. And if you g- even go back when we had people who were at the protest during the lockdown, you know, in the middle of the year, there were journalists getting their eyes blown out with rubber bullets. People were there just doing their jobs, just recording a peaceful protest. And the cops were literally trying to kill people with rubber bullets. Literally all the journalists on the air, except for that one Asian dude who was a little bitch on, I think it was CBS. Um, everybody else was like, you can clearly see these people are peacefully protesting. And a lot of them are actually going home. Now, the ones who are here, the cops are purposely quartering them off in the streets, side streets. So they can't leave and can't go anywhere. And then all chaos broke out. But uh, now it's like, Oh, the proud boys and all those other people, like one of the proud boys, one of the leaders, the so-called leader, uh, oh, the founder of the Hawaiian branch. And I'm like, the Hawaiian branch, okay, cute. Yeah. So, you know. Proud Boys Hawaii. Man, it's funny. It's funny to be that self-hating and realize, you know they hate you too, right? 
Like that, I know most of it's like a prison gang thing because the Aryans deal with certain people, certain groups, and they say they're honorary Aryans. But like, dude, they hate you too. If you saw Sons of Anarchy, um, they treat the members who are from a different ethnic stock. They treat you like shit because they know you got an African lineage somewhere, and we can see it. And you're, you're not Aryan. You're not pure, fair skinned, and all the other shit. Like. Those people, and it's amazing. One dude got in Pelosi's office, um, put his put her feet up, took the flag down, um, and then took her mail and walked out. And nothing happened to him. Imagine if thirty thousand black people did that. Imagine if thirty thousand Muslims did that. Here's the thing, man. With 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 everything that's been going on, it it it's very easy just to say it's Trump. It's Trump. It's Trump. It's not just Trump. Exactly. It, it's our entire government, at least the the empowering parties, you know, which I used to used to would say I I pretty much basically left when John, when Trump became president because this guy really represents does not represent what that party used to be in in certain points, but it's it, it in other but in, on the other side, it brought out its worst features of that. Is 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 brought out the, the 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 greedy, the racist parts of what that conservative party has a history of, and um, it's going to be very hard for a lot of people to differentiate that, saying that they are a conservative, a Republican a, 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 of that, to be affiliated to be like I am also a Trumper. It's 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 not you're a Republican now. You're a Trumpian. You you followed and not only followed, but you enabled this man to be incredibly just vile. I mean, I've I said it from when he started running from office. This is the modern day Hitler. And it, it, um, unfortunately, with democracy and a republic being so fragile, unfortunately, I mean, unfortunately, with our constitution that um wouldn't allow this man to be a dictator. And yes, it was a lot of politics with two parties running and just having friction with each other for four years. But our democracy at the very end, um, with his dramatic climax getting out of our lives, hopefully is that his, um, persona, his, his life is just going to be gone. It's over. And, you know, it, it's kind of like maybe going to the final season of Game of Thrones where at oh, the God. end, if he doesn't go to jail, you're probably going to be left uh, let down and Mike Pence or somebody or he, fuck it, say Joe Biden pardons him, you know. Or they but. get killed or they get killed the way Cersei and that one dude went out, which was a bullshit. Fuck Game of Thrones. Dude, we're at the part where they're walking her down naked and yelling shame. Okay, shame. okay. So we're, yeah. we're at that about part. About four right seasons now. back. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was like, the like, ending, how Cersei died was bullshit. How he's, they get he's, to die together and get crushed by a fucking boulder. I am calling it now. He's going to go to jail and he's going to be broken out and then there's going to be a revolution and we have 10 more years of this. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I just think we should all load up on Twisted Tea. You know, have you heard about An these ammo. aliens that have been like um, sighted all around the world, and then like the, these the, articles are coming out? They're watching us, saying this is the best shit on HBO right now. This, yeah, this, <laughs> this is UHO Universal fucking. I don't know, Universal whatever. But like I said it, on watch Twitter, fucking show. watch, watch America, watch uh, a teacher. That shows a lot. I've heard about, oh, yeah. <laughs> Like we're we're America is the Florida of the fucking world now. Hey, hey, hey you, you you laughed like 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 you seen it. Or... I, I have a puppy. Like, That's hard enough, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I don't take anything away from you, Pete, man. I, I I I don't I don't know how you do Pete it. Pete be sleeping on them documentaries, man. <laughs> Pete be having them documentaries in the tuck. Hey, but uh. The... So I can did. we talk about a uh, football yet? Let's do yeah, it. like how I beat your ass in Madden when I came over for New Year's oh Eve. Oh my god! I played with the whooped you, bro. Team, bro. No, I had a worse team than you at the, the Cardinals. Cowboys. Shut up! Shut up, bro! Shut up! I had the Cowboys. Shout out to the Cardinals not making the playoffs, man. I'll, I'll, I'll say yeah, that. Yeah, they right choked. Now. They definitely Ooh, choked, that, man. Bro, I literally threw the six picks and still won. The season they were my pick and they fucking blew it. 
The Cardinals kind of did what I, I expected them to do because Cliff Kingsbury isn't because bad the guy organizations for the do bad organizational shit. Well, now, Cliff oh, Kingsbury has never won more than eight games in any fucking thing he's ever done. He never won eight games at Texas Tech. He didn't. Who, do sh- he's never won eight waste? games unless he was a player. Who has a higher chance of having their prime wasted? Justin Herbert with the Chargers or oh. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals? I think Kyler Murray because Justin Herbert is possibly going to get a, a really good coach to go with him. But, I mean, even rumors is Urban Meyer is in Ruber to get that. And I think that would be a great thing. They're that's, not going to pay That's him. bullshit. Chargers aren't going to pay him. I would scream racism to the highest level if oh, Urban well, he, Meyer gets a fucking job. He, hear me the out. They, they need to spend big money in L.A. L.A. after COVID-19 is going to be the biggest entertainment capital in the country. It's and you have the back. Rams dominating that. that the Rams the, haven't really dominated it. No, no, no. For that market, you're going to have the Rams The dominated. Lakers are dominating. No, as far as football. Football's an untouched USC? market. What? USC? <laughs> well, pro no. football. Once look at, look at that they're stadium. Playing. Look at how much money they're putting in. They're going to have the Super, uh, the Super Bowl supposed to be there next year, and right? They're going to have high, they're gonna Dude, have high school football yeah. if it ever comes back. It's so hard to find Rams gear. <laughs> Amazon. You got to go on Amazon. Like that little face, the Sherpa line and face hoodie thing I had. They Big got F word to Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Wow. Uh, there's, <laughs> but, there's, I, I, I go to, I go to Fanatics there. So but Fanatics has good stuff. Probably owns that Possibly, hey. but don't ruin that for me, okay? <laughs> don't, <laughs> you don't want that but reality? Yeah, so, I'm forsake my wife. So, I feel like your wife is really gangbanging on our now, IG, though. What, what, game, what game are you guys most excited for this coming up weekend? The national title game. I'm kidding. Oh, that's Monday, dude. That's oh, so we get that might get postponed, but yeah. that's a whole other story. Honestly, Colts Bills, that might be the game of the playoffs. That yeah. should that that should be a good thing. I think Bills Philip Rivers' that. last game ever. Well, Jonathan Taylor's a monster Rivers versus the reincarnation, but better version of Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers, if he had athleticism and arm strength, what has Philip Rivers ever done yeah. in the playoff? Play on a torn ACL. And almost um, win, but Marlon McCree's bitch ass couldn't. I mean, uh, and that was the early years. We got what? That he, was a, that was the fourteen and two year, I think, when Shot Number got fired. That was year. that with with, uh, with LT? Yeah, and LT yeah. was sitting on the bench. He had pouting. LT. If I was starting a running back, if I was starting a franchise from nothing and I needed a running back, I'm picking LT. But you don't have Phil or Adrian Peterson. But I I, if I, if I can't pick AP, I'm pitching. I'm picking LT. I, I honestly though, just with that game, I mean, I, I don't see Philip Rivers outdoing um Allen. He might not, but Jonathan Taylor had like two hundred rushing yards. Jonathan Taylor's what's up? By the way, the Raiders um uh, could have drafted him I'm and they ex- passed on it. I'm, but, I'm know. excited for the, the Rams, the Seahawks game, obviously. It's the same NFC thing West. every year though. Oh, is Jared Goff playing? It's like they play until Russell Wilson fucks up or throws a game winner. Or it's a controversial call. I'm tired of seeing the Rams Seahawks play. <laughs> you to see I want to see Seahawks wow. Packers. I'm tired of seeing the Rams and Seahawks play. We know what it is. We know what it's gonna be. I'd rather watch them play Dallas and somehow get upset. Like it's let's be honest. The Seahawks Jamal Adams had nine and a half sacks this year. He led his fucking team in sacks and he's a safety. Like, come on. Yeah. Let's let's be honest. Those corners for Seattle. So who are you taking in that game? Because I'm confused. Because it sounds like you just simultaneously shit on both teams in the They're, whole. Whoever wins <laughs> is the loser. Whoever wins is the loser. I hate to break it to you. Whoever oh. wins is the loser. Because the Packers are going to oh. be, even without David Bakhtiari, the Packers have A.J. Dillon, who's like 6'2", 250, and as fast as shit. And he rushed for a career high 120 yards or 47 yards or some shit the last game of the season against the Titans, who were trying to win. And they have Aaron Jones. And Devontae and Adams had 18 touchdown catches in, what, 12 games? And that's that's the other game that I'm looking at, Titans and Ravens. Um, I think that that's it's the- a rematch of last year. Lamar, Derrick Henry. Contender, you know, both- pretender? Yeah, both big pieces in their offense. And, uh, yeah, shout out to Derrick Henry for making the 2,000-yard club. Raiders I mean, passed we on him. He, we always knew he had that potential, but it was kind of shaky for a little bit there, especially, like, those first two years. Because they paid Deion Lewis. Beat out DeMarco. No, no, no. They paid Deion Lewis big money to, like, have 30 catches a year. And that DeMarco Murray. 
Yeah, but Mar- Marco Burry was still good. It just wasn't the right fit schematically. Good adjacent. Well, I mean, I, give it to Derrick Henry. I mean, that last week.